Example 3. Given the picture below, we want to find the values for x and y. Take a moment, work this example out on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, so what I'm looking for first is my parallel lines. Actually, there's something that I want to recognize even before that, and it is my pair of vertical angles. So I know this angle in between x and y is 55 degrees, which will be important. Then I identify my two parallel lines, and I'll pick one transversal. I'll pick this green line as my transversal. I can then see that angle 65 and x are corresponding angles, which means they're congruent, and thus x is 65 degrees. So we get x equals 65. Then, if x is 65 and the angle between x and y are, is 55, notice we have a straight line here, which means all three angles together is 180. Well, 65 plus 55 will be 120, so y must be 60 degrees. Or just 60, there we go. There are a couple of other ways you could have gone about solving this, but regardless, you should have realized that x, x, x is 65 and y is 60.